Next thing I'm going to show you requires this plier package. So we'll load that package. And then before I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a basic bar graph uh, with error bars. Before I do that, I'm going to need to create a data frame. So this was our data frame of all our raw data. But I'm going to need to create a data set, a data frame that has the means and standard deviations. So I'm going to run this command here. Use uh, ddpy to take gorilla data and uh, do it by condition. And then I'm going to summarize the mean and the standard deviation using this command. Okay, and that's going to output, I called it Gorilla Summary, that's going to output this. Control, Jungle Sound, Classical Music. Okay, there's the means, there's the standard deviations, and that's the same as this graph here. Okay, and when I have that graph, then I will be able to uh, make a bar plot. So if I take this first part and I run that, you can see I get a basic bar plot like that. Um, if I add this geome error bar and um, I can add error bars to it, uh, def you know, again, following this and um, setting the parameters for it. And there's error bars. And then if I run the, uh, the whole bit, I also fix my uh, axes to put the way I like them. Okay, so there I go. I can make an error bar on it too. Another kind of graph I can make with this data is um, I could try overlaying two plots. Um, so for example, we'll go back to uh, this is our basic uh, box plot that we made before. And this time I'm going to add, uh, here was geom box plot. I'm going to add geom point. This plots points. And I'm going to use it to plot the from the gorilla summary the means and make them red. So if I do this, now I get a box plot and I have these red dots overlaid. Okay, so there's a lot of options that you can do with R. Okay, and finally, uh, I think I mentioned in maybe one of the first videos, the data set MT cars, um, which you might remember uh, looks like that. And I can also, um, I'll, I'm just going to do this to show you the, uh, you can plot um, uh, a scatter plot, okay? So here I'm doing uh, empty cars with uh, miles per gallon and weight. Did I type that wrong? We'll find out. Yeah, not, uh, it should be miles per gallon. That's what I thought, okay? Um, when you're using R, you should get used to this. Get used to error messages. They happen a lot while you're learning. Okay, so now here's that same graph that I made before, okay? And, um, and there's lots of other options, of course. Um, you know, I can add my labels, something like that. And if I wanted to add a, a smoothing line, I could use geome smooth. And uh, don't forget, I got to put the plus in there to connect it to the labels. And we could run that and see what that gets us. And that puts a kind of a line fairing through this. So anyways, there's a lot of options. Um, um, oh, maybe one more I'll show you. Let's just look at, um, here, let me... Let me make MT, MT cars equals MT cars. Okay, now I saved MT cars so I can look at it. Okay, it looks like this. So we were doing miles per gallon and by weight. And, um, well, how about um, cylinders? Okay, I'll take this one. How many cylinders does it have? I can come back up here to uh, the points, say, and I'll put the AES again and color equals cylinder okay now let's run that and now you see we got the uh, the different cylinders here this is a little weird because these cylinders uh, probably shouldn't be a, a smooth uh, line like this um, eight eight cylinders are light blue and uh, dark blue or almost black is the four cylinders anyways though um, I, I could fix that by changing um, the uh, cylinders here in empty cars to a factor instead of a number. In fact, just one last thing I'll show you is the str function, which you can use uh, on, uh, put the name of your data frame in it, and then run it, and it will tell you how it's organized. So data frame is, um, right, is empty cars, and then here's those dollar signs, so the mpg one, and this says they're all 
numbers. If I run uh, this on uh, the uh, the gorilla data, then you'll see that the uh, yeah here it is. Subject is a character. Social is integers, resting, these are all numbers, and then the condition is a factor with three levels. So if I uh, change cylinder to a factor over here, then uh, these would be more clearly separated rather than uh, shading like this. Okay, anyways, there's lots of other things you can do. Um, and normally you find this out by searching Google and um, looking around for how to create these graphs. Uh, also digging into the uh, help files sometimes. And like I said, there's a lot of tutorials online that can help you as well with uh, um, details sp specific to your uh, research problem.